the Pharisees and the Sadducees, who were religious leaders, were Jesus' enemies. He healed on Sabbath day. They approached him and confronted him. Why do you heal on Sabbath day? Moses in the law said that on the day of Sabbath, nothing should be carried out. Jesus said to them, the Sabbath was made for man. Man was not made for the Sabbath. And I am the master of the Sabbath. So the Sabbath is not a day. The Sabbath is a person. What is Sabbath? The day of rest. So the day of rest is not a calendar date. It's not a year and it's not a day of the week. It's a person. So when you enter Jesus, you have entered Sabbath. That's why I say, come on to me. All you that labor and are heavy laden, I will give you rest. In the book of Hebrews, he says, there remained therefore a rest for the people of God. We that believe, we enter. Am I talking to somebody here? As your amen is coming like thunder, I command your rest to manifest. I command your rest to manifest. Lift your right hand and shout, Jesus is my rest. You can't have Jesus and be looking for rest. You can't have Jesus and be looking for rest. Coming into Jesus is coming into rest is not a season. I see churches writing season of rest. It's not a season. Rest is a person. It's a personality. When you when that person enters you, rest has entered you. And that rest has no beginning, it has no end. It is eternal rest. If somebody is understanding, shout, I hear, I hear. That your name is Joseph. David. Abraham. Doesn't mean you know Jesus. Even Jesus. Because there's nothing wrong in having a name like Jesus. You can call yourself Jesus. Joshua is Jesus. Joshua. Joshua is Jesus in Hebrew. It's the same thing. There's nothing wrong in bearing Jesus. Or Joshua. It's the same thing. That you bear Jesus doesn't mean you know Jesus. You must come to a place of revelation. The moment you know Jesus, religion will die. Because religion is not Jesus. And Jesus is not religion. That's why Jesus fought religious leaders. Who are the religious leaders? They were called Pharisees and sad to see you see <laughs> they were far to see and sad to see who you are in christ <laughs> when you tell them i am righteous they are far to see and sad to see you see <laughs> Religious leaders couldn't take the radical revelation that Jesus brought. Religion tells you, don't heal on Sabbath day. Don't do anything on Sabbath day. On Sabbath day, don't do anything. Just stay in church. That's religion. So Jesus shows up on Sabbath day and he walks into a place and he says to a sick man, stand up, carry your mat and go. Ah, ah, you have broken the Sabbath. How can you be a righteous person? Jesus said, are you not aware? That man is not made for the Sabbath. But the Sabbath is made for man. And I, the son of man, I am the Lord of the Sabbath. That means I can do and undo with the Sabbath. Jesus didn't come to establish a religion. And he didn't come to validate a religion. He came to mess up religion and establish a relationship between God and man. Shout, I hear you. Christianity is not a religion. Christianity is a relationship between God and man. And there are two kinds of relationship. The Old Testament relationship and the New Testament relationship. What is the Old Testament relationship? It is man trying to meet up with the standard of God. And man cannot. So what is the New Testament relationship? It is God coming down to man and helping man to relate with him. So what the law could not do in that it was with God. 
God sending his son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin destroyed sin in the flesh that the righteousness of God may be fulfilled in you who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death shout amen somebody born of God born again born of the spirit that's who you are born of God somebody shout I have a relationship with God I know God in Christ Jesus I didn't hear your amen. Yeah.